Let's talk about VCAs. VCA stands for Voltage Controlled Amplifier or Voltage Controlled Attenuator. As we already know from earlier, an attenuator can only reduce a signal's strength, while an amplifier can also increase a signal's strength. Voltage controlled obviously means that you can control this amplification or attenuation with CV signals. Whether a VCA is an amplifier or just an attenuator isn't always very clearly visible, unfortunately, so you should check the module's manual to see if it offers amplification or just attenuation. Either way, both voltage controlled amplifiers and attenuators are usually controlled and used in the same way, so don't worry about this too much for now. A VCA will have a signal input socket, where the signal which you'd like to amplify goes into, a signal output socket, where the processed signal comes out of, and a CV input, into which you will send control voltages to control the strength of the amplification. If you send a high CV to the CV input, the VCA opens up which means it lets the incoming signal through. And if it receives zero or negative CV, it closes and blocks the incoming signal. Let's look at an example. If you connect the keyboard's gate signal to a VCA's CV input and an oscillator's audio output to the VCA's signal input, you will hear a sound when a key is pressed, because the gate goes high and opens the VCA. The higher the gate control voltage, the louder the sound will be from the VCA's signal output. Once the key is released and the gate voltage drops to zero, it closes the VCA completely and we won't hear the oscillator anymore. VCAs are often controlled by envelope generators to give a sound a smooth rise and fall in volume when a key is pressed and released. Feeding an LFO into the CV input will result in a tremolo effect. Of course, you don't just have to process audio signals with a VCA, but you can also use it to amplify or attenuate CV signals as well. For example, you could send an LFO into the signal input to turn its modulation on only when a key is pressed. So to sum it all up, just remember, the higher the incoming CV, the stronger the outgoing signal. Now go ahead and experiment with VCAs and thanks a lot for watching. If you have any questions, go ahead and post them underneath this video in the comments section.